So if you record using a MIDI keyboard and your MIDI keyboard has a pitch bend wheel, you can record that information as you're playing and Reaper will, will keep track of that. And all of that information will be stored in your MIDI item under, uh, if you double click it, there's nothing in here now, under the uh, pitch information over here. So if I want to do this manually, uh, so I have a blank MIDI item here, I'm just gonna double click it, open it, and I can also do this, I can add a pitch bend information as um, kind of draw it in, if you will. So I, what I'm going to do is just create a single note over here, and now I see the velocity of it, and of course I can change it and go up and down the same way that I can change it by uh, hovering over here at the top like we've done before, and now you can change it like that. But if I switch to pitch, I now am able to draw a uh, kind of a pitch inflection essentially so let's say that i wanted to kind of uh, start as a c and kind of slide up a little bit and then come back down uh, i can do this by just simply drawing um, kind of drawing this let me uh, go back actually a few steps let's turn this off and now uh, there we go that gives us a little bit more rigor room so now um, what this will do is it'll start at the pitch, go up, go down, and kind of follow this shape, and then eventually make make its way back. Now you can hear this better, of course, if the instrument you're using has a long sustain, because if it doesn't, if it decays immediately, you won't hear uh, this information as much. But here it goes, All right? So, so that's what that is. So it's basically kind of uh, bending up and down. And uh, of course, you can also use uh, a pitch shifting effect, and we'll get into that later. Um, but so take a listen to this. This is the example that I showed earlier. What I did here is I added uh, a key and actually this over here is a kind of like a marimba sound and I added some pitch bend information and then what I did is I copied and pasted the same notes so that all three notes of the chord uh, slide up and down together. So this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. I think it's especially interesting when you hear something like a piano sound bending because it's not really an, a normal thing that a piano can do. So, um, so anyway, there's that. Pretty, pretty simple.